everyone. Welcome to Discover America. Today we're in Culpeper, Virginia, and we're getting ready for digging in Virginia 45 at Brandy Rock Farm, and we're going to be relic hunting that spot over the next three days. So this farm was the site of Union and Confederate uh, encampments during the winter of 1863 and 1864. Uh, tens of thousands of troops camped there, and they left behind a ton of relics. This site's been hunted extensively for the past decade or so, and I think DIV's gone there probably a dozen times. And every time they go there, they just manage to find the most amazing things out of the ground. It's just incredible in terms of quality and quantity. I mean, they found uh, ID tags, tokens, coins, swords, whole bottles, uh, parrot shells, cannonballs, like you name it, they found it. It's just incredible. Um, I've attended DIV 17 times before, and this will be my fifth time uh, going to Brandy Rock. And I've had a good amount of luck at Brandy Rock before as well. Um, I found a North Carolina state seal button, which was my first state button I've ever found. Uh, I found a wreath to a two-piece Confederate tongue and wreath buckle. Um, I've gotten into a couple pits before. I haven't found any whole bottles yet, but uh, I did find some dining ware and the majority of a Drake's Plantation Bitters bottle, and uh, also a pair of scissors too, which is really interesting and neat to see. I'm just hoping my luck continues, considering this uh, site's been hunted really, really hard before. Um, so we'll see, but uh, going and digging in Virginia, you know, any DIV hunt, really, it's just an amazing opportunity to save some history from the ground and, you know, just uh, enjoy those three days, just knowing that, you know, trying to find stuff that people lost over 150 years ago. It's just surreal. So uh, hopefully find some good stuff for you guys, considering this is my first time ever recording a DIV hunt. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's around five o'clock on the first day. And I haven't really found all that much yet, or else I would have showed you. Um, I've only found about five or six washers, some camp lead, and just a bunch of other junk around the farm. It hasn't really been a productive day, but I do have a button in the hole. I just pulled this thing out. I haven't seen what it is yet, but it's right here. Let's see what we got. All right, I'll clean this off and I'll get back to you soon. Okay guys, so it's a general service eagle button, coat sized, with the shank still intact. Beautiful button to pull out of the ground and we're on the board finally at the end of day one. Hopefully we'll find some more. Alright guys, morning of day two. We're heading back out to where I found that button and a fire bullet yesterday. Uh, hopefully we find more than just two Civil War relics today. But you never know. Hope for the best of luck. I'll get back to you when I find something. Okay guys, it's about 11 o'clock now. We got another target in the hole. And there seems to be a little bit of white there. So it looks like it might be lead. So let's pull this out together. I haven't looked at it yet. It looks like a bullet, but I'm not sure. And it is a bullet. Looks like a Colt pistol bullet. All right, there we go. We're on the board for today. All right, I'll get back to you soon. Okay guys, so we're up at the Wisconsin camp now. Didn't have much luck in the front fields. Uh, just got another eagle button down there and I didn't tape that. Um, it was also pretty crusty too. There's a hole in the side, so it is what it is. I'm still finding stuff though. Sorry I'm a little winded. We had to climb up this really steep hill to get up here. So I'm just a little out of breath. Yep, so we're going to try to find some stuff in this field. 
Um, I found a Confederate wreath here before, a carved Washington Arsenal bullet, a few buttons. Um, but let's see if we can find some good stuff today. All right, I'll get back to you soon. Okay, guys, so I got a really good high tone here, and I think I might be in a pit. I'm down about 14, 16 inches, and you can see that right there. That's some charcoal. You can tell just by how it smudges on the finger. So there's a really good high tone down here, and I still haven't found it yet. It's just getting stronger and stronger by the second, so we'll see what we can find. Get back to you soon. Okay, guys, so that uh, good signal ended up being a uh, tiny little buckle, but I am still in a pit, so there's always potential for glass. So we'll keep digging, see what we can find. Get back to you soon. Okay, guys, here's the progress on the hole so far. You can see the ash layer is going still even further back, and I'm about two feet down to the floor. And uh, I still got a ways to go. Haven't really gotten much out of it yet. Uh, just some nails, some bone, part of a pipe stem, and then this excites me right here. Just a little shard of glass. So hopefully we can find something whole in there. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, just want to give you a little pro tip about metal detecting. So, if you look here, right there, that's someone else's dig hole. And right here is mine. And right underneath this rock, we got a drop three ringer. So, point being, always recheck your hole and always recheck the area around your hole. Especially if you're getting relics like this. You know, you want to make sure that you're not missing any. So, um, thank you to whoever left the hole there and uh, we'll keep on finding relics. All right, folks, day three, digging in Virginia 45. Another beautiful morning. We're back in the Wisconsin camp today and we're gonna try to find some relics. We'll get back to you soon. Okay, guys, so I got my first good target of the day. Nice drop three ringer, down about eight inches. And it's only about 30 minutes into day three, so uh, off to a great start. Let's go find some more. Okay guys, so here's a pretty cool find. Looks like an ammo box finial. Let me just wipe it off real quick. Yeah, I think it's exactly what it is. Well, that's neat. All right, let's find some more. Okay guys, I'm really excited right here. Look what just popped out of a hole. It's number four. Isn't that insane? Oh my goodness. That thing gave a fantastic signal too. Oh wow. Look at that number four. Just popped out right of the hole. That's amazing. Oh man, let's go find some more. Okay guys, it's after lunch on the third day and I got a screaming high target in the center of the hole. Take a listen to this. And we'll just pinpoint this real quick. Just center this. Check that out. I'm going to try to dig this out live for you guys, so let's give this a whirl. I think I see it already. And it's a, just a grommet. Oh well, can't win them all, still brass. On to the next. 
Okay guys, I think we might have a bullet here. Let's take a listen to this sound. Pretty solid. Let's see if we can pinpoint this thing. Oh, there it is, right there. I think that might be a gardener. It's got two rings on it. Yeah. All right. Nothing like Confederate lead to end a hunt. We got about an hour left in a day, so hopefully we'll find some more, guys. All right, guys, I just pulled out this awesome button. Look at that. It's even got the gilt still on it. And that was sounding like a bullet. I thought it was going to be a bullet. Like this whole field, all they've been finding are bullets, bullets, bullets. But I think this is the first button pulled out of here. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to brush it too much. It looks like a civilian button. Uh, it's just got a really nice diamond design on it. Shank's still intact. Oh, that's awesome. It just keeps on getting better. We got until the sun goes down. So let's try to find some more. Okay guys, it's about 7.30 at night now. And I just got a fire three ringer in the hole here. This will probably be my last relic of the hunt. So I'll go home and clean all my finds up and I'll show you what I got for the hunt. Okay everyone, I'm back from the hunt now and I cleaned up all my finds here. And I actually didn't do that bad considering I only found two items on the first day. So let's just dive into it up here. So we got that Colt bullet right there, Colt 44. And then next to it's a Williams cleaner with the zinc base. And then we have a Washington Arsenal bullet right here. You can see the star on the inside. So that's a really cool find. Drop garden right next to it. And then another Williams cleaner bullet, just missing the base. Some sort of small caliber pistol bullet, a uh, musket ball and a bucky ball, and then just a row of three ringers right here. Got a few eagle coats, and then over here we got a couple eagle cuffs, and then two more cuff button backs. And then here we got that brass ammo finial, which is just amazing. Gave a beautiful sound, and it's one of my favorite finds in the hunt. That's only the second ammo finial I've found. But my favorite finds, obviously, are right here. And I'm still in disbelief that I found that four. Like, that's just incredible. All those years, it's in the ground, and no one found it, and now it's here. And just imagine just the soldier taking the time to carve that thing out 155 years ago. It's just amazing, and that's why I love this hobby so much. You know, get those personal items, and you just know that someone just took the time out of their day so long ago just to make that thing. And now I found it which is just totally amazing. And then next to it, of course, we got that gilded button. So you can just look at that thing shine. Isn't that incredible? How that survived for so long in the ground. That's just also unreal. And then we have a couple of iron buttons on each side. And then we got this blue buckle overall button from the 20s there. And then some percussion caps and stems. This right here is a carved bullet, so you can see where the soldier just quartered it, and that's pretty cool. And then next to it over here, we just have the base to a three ringer. And it's kind of funny actually, because I found a uh, carved Washington Arsenal bullet without its base, and I think that might be its missing piece, who knows? I like to think so. This little lead item right here, this I believe is the part of the puppy paw to like a US plate. You know, if you look on the back of those plates, they got those three hooks on the back made out of lead. I think that's one of those things. And um, I think that's the closest I've ever come to finding a plate to be honest with you guys. And then uh, up here we just got some brass items and then another row of three ringers mixed of dropped and fired. 
But this one is a, actually a fired sharp, so that's a really cool find. Couple of canteen stoppers. That one's actually a nail bent into a ca canteen stopper. And uh, an iron buckle. And then, just to finish it off, I got this horseshoe. When I was digging all those uh, bullets up on the last day. So yeah, not bad at all. I was very happy with the hunt. I'm always happy with D DIV. It's just such a great opportunity to go out and save some history. And I just love every second I'm out there. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more relic hunting videos up for you guys soon. Hope you all enjoyed.